up, Humanoid Nation? I'm back in my apartment. So what better way to start off a reaction action video than to do a reaction action video on Mr. Burgess? Don't know who Mr. Burgess is? This was before YouTube. Yes, there was a before YouTube. When Break was actually popular back in the day. On Break, we had this one bunch of videos where like this radio station calls this homophobic asshole called Mr. Burgess and just fucking troll the shit out of him. Let's watch! Hey. Hey, Mr. Burgess, this is Bernard Barker and Xavier Witherspoon, and we call him with the NAABF, the National Association for Black Folks, and the Big Brothers and the Little Bros program. Good, good morning, sir. My name is Xavier Witherspoon. We have uh, received your paperwork uh, that expressed interest in uh, Big Brothers. Starts Little out Bros slow, program, but it gets better. And we were just calling Trust to me, it just gets better. with a time frame that might be uh, that might be comfortable for you, sir. Trying to tell me something. Hang on, hang on. No, sir. We, I, I promise. Excuse me. We're not trying to sell, we're not selling anything. No, we are not asking for a donation. The state has done taking care of the donations and therefore and such. Right, but, okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever I forgot how slow uh, the beginning was. Sorry, on, guys, but I assure you, it I'd gets like better. To please remove Be patient. If I may, Mr. Richard Burgess, Mr. Richard Remove. May I just make sure you're the right person? 526 West High. I haven't listened to this since 2002. Uh, sorry. And then this is uh, Richard Burgess, and then we have rang Greenville, Mississippi, have we now? This is Richard Burgess. That is my address. Now please remove. Thank what? you for calling. No, no, sir. We 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 are not calling to get money from you, sir. We're asking. We're actually looking into a paperwork, and you have filled out this information, claiming that you wanted to take on a young minority baby for a weekend. Can you, can you hang on just a second, please, sir? Young minority uh, baby. Uh, yeah. Now he's getting you pissed. Fill out a form for some kind of taking care of somebody, big brothers, big sisters. No, big brothers, little bros. Okay, you have uh, big brothers, number. little bros. You have the wrong number, and I've already told you once. Now, now say again. Remove. This is where we, we uh, look up a white person <laughs> with a black child to prove race relations, and you clearly, clearly signed up for it. It does have your information on it, sir, and we were wondering well, which I'm weekend sorry, would be best for you. information mm -hmm. from some kind of damn mailing list? Which, which weekend <laughs> would be removed? Which, uh, which weekend would be best for you, sir? <laughs> for what? I, I want this cleared up right now, so we so we can. You don't want to take care of a black this, baby. Uh, down this trail again. Well, you're getting the black child this weekend. Sir. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, you got the wrong guy, and I don't have any time for this kind of damn bull. Sir, you're getting uh, the excuse me? right now. Remove. You're getting the black child this weekend, <laughs> sir. He is coming to no your negotiations. Your white family, so that he could uh, see how they have Liz, and then you might go okay, spend some time with a black family. Mr. Burgess, who do I need to talk to <clears throat> to cancel this? Because apparently you have it lined up, and nobody bothered to fucking call me, and I'm not taking in any people or <laughs> any. Mr. Burgess, if I could, oh, I, you I, wanted I to say that it, it, it sounds like there. a high-strung uh, individual. You just wanted to say but that. But I think once you see little Nakalakareka, that you little can fall in love, and uh, you can just take her to the park, and you can go to the circus, and I think you would just fall in love with this young little girl. Okay, I, I have no interest, so I need to talk to somebody. I need to talk to your manager. Can you dial Sir, we are, we are the court. Put him on the phone so I can tell him that whoever they bring by... Because obviously you have my address, and obviously this is some kind of bullshit, mother prank. I do not want anybody coming to my residence, interrupting my family with a bunch of damn. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. me. Excuse me. We are this ain't a different strokes. to improve race relations in Southern Mississippi, sir. Well, responsible for a child. Of course. Somebody is obviously playing with Mississippi. your your mind, your 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 phone list. There, I want you to remove. This is not so if you can type on your little computer there, so type in Richard Burgess removed. This is not this is not a telemarketing event. This is a terrible we event. They prove me. me. So don't expect to me treat you any better than you're treating me. Now hang on. Sorry, there. Sorry, I do apologize. We got off on the wrong foot. You Listen, need to I do apologize. Under remove. You cracked it. No. I, I do remove. apologize. Listen, honky. Listen, Listen honky. Listen, honky. Listen, honky. <laughs> well, you called us. I'm telling you right now. You crack a soda pop? <laughs> I'm telling you right now. 
Get my name off the list. Sir, we are bringing the child by, and you I'm will take care of him. responsible for a child. Don't bring your fucking house. owl. You'd be pleased about it. You know, rude about it. Yes, this. I just mixed it. But in. I cannot be out You're a wizard, Harry, with this. this so what? Before. You're looking for a donation. I cannot be out responsible for some damn black kids coming over my house, stealing, taking God knows whatever. Stealing, stealing really? You have to go there. For a weekend, and y'all call it some kind of camp, and I, and I'll just be... It's not going to be too welcoming. 
and Mississippi. Well, uh, you know, racist own, and a homophobe. From our own poll. Let's see if we get a trifecta on this. I'm uh, sure I, we all know what kind of I kind of lost my thought on this. No, It'll come I'm, back. I'm serious. From our own poll that we've taken, we figured out that Greenville, uh, Mississippi, the community in which you live, is 48% homosexual. We consider that here at the Gay Lesbian uh, on, Coalition, uh, the Gay Friendly City. 48% gay yes. in Greenville? Yes. Uh, we've hung out at, uh, it, you know, taking polls from local bars and restaurants, and that's what we've found out. Okay, well, I don't know what kind of faggot, queer... Oh, you know, shit, dude. Taken, Holy but, crap. Uh, I've lived here for... Excuse me. Years, excuse me. Excuse think. me. Excuse me. No, excuse me. Why don't you... Oh, oh here it comes. comes. I don't, I don't here it comes. comes. Derogatory comments of faggot, homosexual... Hey, you faggot, don't f***ing call my house and give me a bunch of... Help. Help. Sir, we are homosexuals. We are not faggots. We are not queers. We just want a day to celebrate all the gay brothers and sisters. Well, celebrate all you want. We celebrate all you want, we faggot. All you want, we faggot but don't f***ing celebrate it in Greenville. And don't ask for my support, faggot. You live in Greenville. It's 48% gay. Do you understand that? Uh, One years later, in 2015, it's legal. Gay marriage. You must be pissed. I wonder how he's doing nowadays. A gay man is into penicillin. Liberace was gay. Jim J. Supervisor, we're calling to offer you some great rec. Hello? <laughs> Call that asshole back. Call back. Damn. Hello? Hi, my name is Jerry, calling from Executive Media, and I'm calling to offer you some great rates on magazines right now. I'm not interested. Click. Hi, yeah, I know we have great rates right now. 12 months and 18 months prices. Hello? Oh, hello? Yeah. Hello? My name is Jerry. I'm calling from Executive Media, and right oh, now we, on, please. we have some great rates on magazines. Uh, you, listen, 
Yes? I'm not interested. Hang on. Yeah, he's you pretty calm now. 12 months worth of magazines for the six months worth of price. Oh, just you okay, wait. I'm, it's not Mr. Burgess until he fucking goes here. off on you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to call, but we're all doing some great... Hello. Damn. <laughs> Hello. Hi, my name is Jerry Conn from Executive Media. I'm here to offer you some great magazine subscription uh, rights. Please. My name is on the do not call list. Please don't call me anymore. Wait, because I'm not a good Christian family, family. That's why. I think we've um, I think we've actually doubled up on you, sir. And yes. yeah, our apologies. That's quite all right. Am I doing something wrong? Am I just stick to the script and we're all calling to offer you some great rates on magazine subscriptions. We have twelve months worth of uh, magazines. Hello? <laughs> Got him. Hello. Hi, this is Jared calling from well, Executive now? Magazines Media. We're going to offer you some great rates on magazine subscriptions right now. Stop calling my house, okay? I'm not buying a magazine. This is the fourth time you've called. Wait, have, I call, have I called? Call, please do not call my house again. I, 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 have, my, I have my manager and my supervisor. Today's my first day. Have I called him back? Uh, Jerry, you know, if, if you could just, uh, we only get a disgruntled uh, person. We just continue on the script, and by the time that you tell him the good Here's deals the are going on, Hello? he will bother Yeah, I'll just stick to the script. That's my supervisor. Jerry, I'll make this easy for you. You see the number you're dialing? Yes, sir. You dialed it four times. Now, I don't know what kind of sales training you're in, but when somebody says no four times, hey, what? And Jerry, why don't you just go ahead and start the script again? Oh, hi, I'm awful. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Mr. Burgess will put on some portal music. Mr. Burgess? Mr. Burgess? <laughs> Support. Oh, 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 oh. Class. Class. Let me speak with Mr. Burgess, please. Uh, come on. Thank you. Hello. Ah, Mr. Burgess. Hello. This is Alan Allen and Alan Smith calling from Allen and Smith, uh, the attorney office. How are you this afternoon? Not buying anything. Now, you're a very hard man to track down, Mr. Burgess. Well, I'm not buying anything, so. No, we're not selling anything, sir. We, if you check your machine, you'll know that we've left you three messages today. To get in touch with our law office. Yes, I have checked my machine, and that's harassment, and I'm not buying anything, so please don't call this up. Uh, Mr. Burgess, it's what very, law very is important to sell you besides the legal thing. We're attorneys, and we're law office is calling a young lady. Unless you're in fucking trouble. You're, uh, Jesus, you that's smart. You're pending for litigation, sir? Say that again. You're under pending litigation right now. We're a law office, and there's a pending litigation against you. For what? what? It's a fraternity suit, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you got the right guy? A couple of years back, do you remember meeting uh, one Zonica Saluki? Zonica. What the? What? Sir, now listen, we've contacted your home many times. We have been hung up on. I we know, have sent got, letters. We, got we have I sent letters, get sir. I don't want to answer the phone. We have sent letters. You owe back child support, sir. Oh, <laughs> You got the wrong guy. <laughs> you owe, sir. You owe. Uh, hello? Got him. <laughs> Call him back. We'll call him back. I, I, I can't believe. I see that you've blocked your number. Mr. Burgess, it's imperative that you listen to what we have to say to you. You owe back child support in the amount of $16,385. And if you'd like to stay out of prison, sir, then we need... Hello? Yes. Don't hang up. Don't hang up the phone. If you'd like to stay out of prison, then we need to talk to you right now. You have the wrong person. Richard Burgess. Is this, is this Mr. Richard Burgess? Yes, Green, it is. Greenville, uh, Mississippi. 902 and Street. You have the wrong damn person, you numb nuts. Okay, Mr. Burgess, we're going to have to send the sheriff out if you don't listen and cooperate. Sure, no, no. What the? What? You have? I, you... $16,385, and that's what you owe Zonica Saluki, and we're, we are Who going to get... Zonica Saluki? Z Zonica Saluki, sir, is the woman you have a child with. That you've had, what, the child now is four years old. You met her five years ago. You had a child. You dated very briefly. And then all of a sudden, Mr. Burgess, you disappeared. Now, we know about the, the nights that you spent at Club 21 in Greenville, Mississippi. <laughs> you have the wrong f***ing person. I've never f***ing been to a f***ing club. Mr. Burgess, we have a law office full of people doing investigations. We know we have the right one. Hang on. Uh, well, you know what? We'll have an, an expert. We'll let you talk to her. Zonica, are you on the phone? Yes, I am. Is this Mr. Burgess? Yeah, it's him. He may not know me as Zonica, but uh, I know he remembered me as Cocoa Puff, right? Cocoa Puff. Do you remember her as Cocoa Puff, sir? I have no f***ing clue what you're f***ing talking about. She was a dancer at an exotic club you attended, right, Coco? I'm sorry, Zonica? Yes. Do you remember a, uh, a bar named Cinderella's <laughs> with an ad? What? No, I f***ing don't. Do you remember paying a stripper for sexual services and gratification, sir? And that was just for the first time. Everything we did after that, you didn't even have to pay me for. But what I do want you to do is pay for your child. Look, lady, you pay for your child support. cowboy, okay? Oh, no. I remember you. Believe me, I remember you. I remember everything. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to refresh your memory a little bit. Uh, how about the first time you only paid me, like, $100? We went to your truck. All right, if you idiot think you got the right person, what the color is my Truck. Does it ring a bell, sir? You can't deny this, okay? You cannot you deny know. this. You met her in the summer of 1999. Good way to put the question there. You had a baby in, in 1999, and you have not supported your child, Mr. Burgess. You have not. Zonica, what, what is the little boy's name? Alfonso. Okay, Alfonso you heard Alfonso. Uh, it's not, it's not my and he looked just like you. If you was a real and he father, grew up to be Carlson. You take on your responsibility. Don't give me this fucking bullshit. I didn't fuck buddy. Married nine fucking years. Don't fucking call my fucking fucking moron. Mr. Okay. Burgess, Zonica, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm just tired of this. I am so tired of this. I'm sorry. I don't 
fucking know you, but you got the wrong fucking guy. You don't person. know me? Nobody will fucking know you. You made me Oh, she's she mad now. Over she and mad. over again in the back of your pickup, and you don't know who I am? Sir, we have DNA evidence. Isn't that right, Sonica? Uh, yes, we do. And little Alfonso has submitted to a paternity test, right? You got it. And to DNA? You got it. So we can settle out of court for $10,000. Fucking ass. You tell him that sucking hard of go fucking bang on somebody else's door. Well, you oh, f- f- this sh- This is this is f- ruin somebody's f- life. You ruined my life. I Yo. did not continue my tripping career. You Stripping messed up career. everything. You yeah. left me and my child without any type of support. I wish I would have swallowed it, but instead you decided to penetrate me, what? impregnate me, and you sat up there and said that you have never been with a black woman before. You ain't black. Black woman. Oh, oh the racism black is coming woman. back. Uh, yeah, and you said you went cuckoo for cocoa Do you not remember that? Oh, uh, f- you. Mr. Burgess. I said I don't f- black women. No, no, sir. Because you're racist. We, DNA, we will take this to court and handle this in court and really embarrass you if we have to, sir. I don't know anymore. Don't f- call me. It's going to give me a f- a black f- You f- damn son of a bitch. I'll f- get a f- on my side and f- sue your f- ass for slander, you f- because she's got fucking ten welfare babies, she's gonna fucking try to put them off on somebody else. There we go with the racism. Trying to pay for the fucking legal bill. I learned my lesson when I sucked your. What will you? What will you? Coot the cake, this dick, you fucking whore. I'm saying that that night. I'm 39 years old. I've been married 11 years. I don't fucking do that shit. That's the same bullshit. I never fucked a whore. I never fucked no fucking black stripper. You know what? I just don't call his wife. I'll tell his wife every oh, time he gets and I bet it will ring bell with her because everything you did to your wife, you fucking did to me. What, what if she calls your wife, Mr. Burgess? Let's say it's late at night. You're out, you know, doing something, and she happens to pick up the phone and call your wife. Hello? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no, we should call him back. Oh, oh my God. He's going to call the cops, man. Oh. He is. He's going to call the cops. He is so heated right now. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Speak with Richard, please. No, he's not coming to the phone. What do you want? His, uh, his black child would like to speak to him. Excuse me. His black his, child? His What's black child that he fathered out of what life would like to speak to him. His name is Alfonso, you can ask him. We're, we're calling from the law office and we're representing Zonica. I don't Zonica. care, you can call our lawyer. Is this a lawyer? Lie. Yes, it is. Lie. No, no, no. Okay, you know what? He fathered my child, your husband did. Back in the day when I was a stripper, we used to go out in the back of his pickup truck. I used to suck his, his dick. He did a lot of other things to me. But what I want to do, because since he doesn't, he doesn't recall, but I know what it is. It's to protect you. But you know what? You shouldn't be with a man like that. And what I want to do is tell you the things that he did to me. I and I know that it's going to refresh your memory. She doesn't want to hear it. She's a good Christian lady. Thank you very much. And honey, I give him enough that he doesn't need to go anywhere else. Okay, so when... And he sucked my breast, he sucks one, and then sucks oh, the other. Oh, that filthy cop. Don't call my husband. And then after that, he likes to kiss in the mouth oh, right after that. And he even oh, likes me to put in. He likes you. Oh, Doesn't he like you to put uh, your breast also oh, and put it in his oh, mouth? Oh, he likes it on top, doesn't he? Hello? Hello? Girl, you kicked ass! <laughs> oh, God. And when I was sucking his <laughs> Oh, God, girl, you are the best. Mary. <laughs> oh, they I called back the animal. I forgot about this. Before she killed him or he killed her or something. Hello? Mr. Mr. Burgess. What the f- call me? Richard L. Burgess, we will find you and we will get that money from you. You got the wrong f***ing person, numb nuts. What are you talking about, Mr. R- Mr. Burgess? This is Mr. R- is Richard Martin Burgess. We're looking for Richard Larry Burgess. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, you got the wrong f***ing guy. Wait, wait, wait. Say what, you mother You're the f***ing guy. Give me your f***ing hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hang on, hang on. Sir, sir, sir. You f***ing 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 Give me your phone number. I'll I'll kill you. Oh God, these guys are awesome. Damn son of a bitch, you and your damn black damn black damn whore swap going. Damn, this is my wife and wife. You got. Give me your damn phone, sir. You are not Richard Larry Burgess. No, all right. Try to tell you. Open your ears and close your. And money oh, we've been out for four f- seconds. I f- told you. We are so we are 
are so sorry. Can you give me your give, f- give him the rejection f- hotline. Is it? If you ever need a lawyer, just give him. Yes. I know we fucked up, but if you're like, you this is lawyer. Yeah, bye. 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 Ah, the gay lesbian school. Hello. Hi, this is with uh, Mr. Burgess. Speaking. Oh, is he okay. suspicious already? Eric and Marty, and we're actually there's two people on the phone. I hope you'll be able to hear us okay. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Uh, we're calling from the Greenville Incorporated School District. Uh, just to let you know, uh, just a courtesy call to remind you that there's a new school opening up, and is it's. The quiet. No, no, it's uh, actually another school opening up for elementary school kids, and y- do you, you have children? Yeah, but they're already zoned. Well, you have, you're in an optional zoning plan to go to a new school that's opening up within the uh, city complex. It's called the Xavier's G- yeah, could, uh, okay. hey, you that you're up? Up? Uh, Xavier School for the Gifted books. Youngsters, well, or whatever that shit is. Zoned, so I appreciate well, well, see, what we're trying to say to you is that there is an optional zoning for the new school that's coming in. That's why we're giving you this courtesy call. Is it a brand new school? Mm-hmm. Brand new. Brand new facilities. It's over 28,000 square feet. Um, it's going to be, uh, but it's going to be for uh, a smaller population population of children, rather. There's only going to be about uh, five to ten kids per classroom. And we're really excited about we're really excited about it because that will give everybody, uh, all the kids, individual attention. Uh, so it's not overcrowding like yeah. Uh, my students, my kids right now, there's like uh, 30 to 32 students right. per classroom. Exactly. And everybody in this neighborhood? Yes, yes, you are. And everybody in the school will also receive a laptop to take home. Really? Yeah, to take home with them. That does sound good. Okay, well, uh, if we could just get the children's name. Uh, I want to know a school where you can give out free laptops. That would be eight? awesome. Eight one? Mm hmm. And how old? Eight. Okay. She's going into third grade. She'll be nine. Feel sorry for the kids okay. who live with this and, shit. Uh, shitty guy. And I have another son. I have a son who's six. He's remember, oh, you remember, remember, you have a little boy. daughter and son. Yeah, Stay away from the uh, gays and lesbians, uh, and also the black uh, people. Because uh, you, you know they steal shit. Just look for something that says Ellen Generous Elementary School, and we'll get that overnight to you. She should have 10 a.m. tomorrow. All right, Helen. Ellen. Ellen. Ellen Generous. <laughs> What's the last name? Degenerous. Degenerous. Plus she's a comedian. She's the famous comic uh, that was on television, and she has given a large sum of money to our county this year to fund the Ellen Degenerous Elementary School. We're really excited about it. The lesbian hey, whatever comic. works, whatever works. The lesbian comic. I'm sorry. Oh, here the we go. Here we comic. go. Ellen Degenerous, the comic, the comic comedian? The, yes, yes. Yeah, she's uh, the comic high comedian. profile uh, celebrity. She's been on television. She's been in films. She has done stand-up. Yeah, I know who she is. What? She opening up a school for? Well, it's going to be. I'm not paying any tuition. If you guys no, it's free. It's it's a new publicly funded school within the confines of Greenville, Mississippi. It's going to be a gay, lesbian, and transgender. Here we go. Uh, Here oh, we go. Jesus f-ing Christ! You f-ing people again? You f-ing people again, sir? Oh, I'm f-ing ready for you this time. You f***ing people gonna call me want some f***ing donations for this? No money, no. no hey, no. what a bunch of f***ing bullshit. Ellen DeGeneres. Ha ha, f***ing hardy, c***sucking hard, you f***ing c***suckers calling me up again, trying to f*** with me again about f***ing money. Mr. Burgess, we're not. about this f***ing school. I know what the f*** this is about. We're not asking for money. Ellen DeGeneres has given plenty of money. There's a, it's free. It's a publicly funded school. Your children have the option of going to the first ever in the Southeast gay, lesbian, trans-friendly oh. school. Dude, why want my kids going to some goddamn clam liquor f***ing school? What? You so f***ing f- people. You f***ing people call me every couple of months looking for a f***ing handout, and I'm f***ing here to tell you, f*** you, I'm not giving you any Money and it's I'm free, gonna... sir. It's Mr. Burgess. It, it is free. Well, then what the f are you calling in for? Get some f-ing people. To... What the f are you having little kids going to a f-ing gay school for? Well, we're, 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 we're hoping that uh, by being around the gay and the lesbian people, the, the people in the now, south. When you say being around gay people, does that mean there's going to be gay people working there? Yeah, no, shit. Gay All gay cool. f- can scratch my name off the list. Oh, scratch extreme homophobe now. Kids off the like f- we can't well, have, have one. We can't have kids going to school. You know you're working gay on people. Of the gay persuasion. They're f***ing kids, you dumb f***ing sucker. You're born gay, sir. People are born gay. They're, they're, they're children. Sh- you f***ing go gay to get on f***ing Hollywood TV shows. And f***ing make money and promote your f***ing Democrat politics. And my f***ing kids aren't going to some f***ing 
f***ing gay school. So I know what this is all about. F***ing Ellen DeGeneres. F***ing gay, clam licking f***ing whore. I'm, I'm not His kids must have grown no, up to be so ashamed of this guy. No, my f***ing kids are f***ing So we would right. like to encourage you to maybe sit down and, and talk with your, your maybe with Caitlin. you to f*** off. Okay, is, hey, is little sir, sir, don't, can we don't f***ing don't, 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 Can we speak with Caitlin? I'm one of your f***ing people calling my f***ing house. Ask me about the stupid sh I've already f***ing told you. My kids are here. You f***ing assholes. Don't oh, f***ing call here. Sir, don't take my name off your f***ing list. You're f***ing queer. Sir. Wait. Sir. You can't Hello? talk about gay people for your kids, but you can't no, swear for your kids? Wait, what? what? <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Clam liquor? That's actually funny. Clam liquor. Hello? Hello oh, yeah. oh! Hey, sweetheart. Oh. Hi. Uh, we just wanted to uh, ask you a couple of questions if we could. Do you want to go to a new school? Give me, give me the goddamn, give me the goddamn phone. I have to give my dad the phone. Come on, are, are you sure? Can't you just hang out with us for a second? Don't ever f***ing call my kids again. I will f***ing kill you. Mr. Burgess, don't Do say that. that. Serious. This, this conversation is f***ing end. We're going to take the bus by your house today. F***ing <laughs> pretty boy. F***ing sucking goddamn f***ing son of a bitch. F***ing oh, f***ing Oh, he's going on. Like he's going on. Oh, he's going on. Hello. Shit monger. I can't understand that last one. Did he say monger? Did he say monger? Yeah, and turd burglar. Turd burglar. Monger. Oh. Coming this summer to McDonald's, the turd burglar. NASCAR, folks. Hello. Hello, this is a message from NASCAR. You've been selected to participate in a brief phone survey. If you are a NASCAR fan, press 1. If you are not a... Not surprised, you. he is from Mississippi. If you NASCAR, yo! ...giving us valuable fan feedback, press 2 now. Thank you, please hold. My name is Jeff Gallagher. Thank you very much for taking part in the NASCAR survey. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. Uh, first of all, can I ask your name? Yes, Richard M. Burgess. And you're, you live in, actually there's two people. Hi, this is Alexia Cole. And you Alexia. live in what part of America? Uh, the Greenville, Mississippi. Okay. We really do appreciate uh, NASCAR fans taking part in the test survey. We like to ask, basically ask the fans uh, how they'll receive the change, and it kind of helps us to gauge what our fans want. If there, was, if there was one thing about NASCAR that you could change, what would it be probably? Uh, I probably want to have more night races. And uh, you've been watching NASCAR now for how long? Probably about 20 years. Oh, well, thank you very much. You're a big fan. Yes, sir. Well, we sure do appreciate you taking some time out just to answer some basic questions. Yes, sir. Uh, one of the things that we're working on, we're in product development, trying to, you know, get the NASCAR name out there a little more. We were thinking about taking Dale Earnhardt Jr. and maybe giving him an acting role, maybe putting him in a, a, a remake of Dukes of Hazard and having him play both. Terrific. Actually, and our next question kind of has something to do with with uh, Dale himself. Dale and us right now are in talks to bring back the number three car uh, that was, his, of course, was his father's. And we'd like to find out first how, as a NASCAR fan, what would you think if we brought back the number three car? Mm, you, you're kind of walking off touchy ground, but it, you know, it doesn't matter to me. Well, we uh, well he has signed up and he and he is on board with it, and we paired him with a uh, fantastic racer. He's uh, from Kenya. Lamangio Smith. He's the uh, first African American race car driver. Oh, and we teamed him up with, uh, with Dale. That's what we was. even have a, a sponsor. Racism for aboard. We feel it's going to take off. How, what do you think about that, uh, Mr. Burgess? Uh, we, we love feedback, so please just give us your honest, blunt feedback. Actually, here we, comes uh, we, the racism. What we want to do is play you down the main the race hook train. of the commercial that's going to air on television. If we could do that for you, so you with the president, Mr. Well, Burgess. You know, <laughs> It's NASCAR, not NASCAR. Oh, shit. Sir. Oh, as far as I'm Sir, this is the Lexi call. I, I am African American. We here at NASCAR like to include all people of all colors into, into NASCAR. We feel well, like. Uh, see, uh, that, you know, that's where I think you're wrong. See? Because you're Cause a racist. Homophobic ass. There are black sports. We've been influenced by the Tiger Woods of the world. I mean, we, we're we're all one, sir. And if we could, uh, we, the, the name of the sponsor is Soul Glow. Soul and uh, Lamangelo Smith, Dale Earnhardt, hello? 
Hello? Can I have a sponsor? Soul Glow. It's a it's a an urban hair care product. Sorry. Let's you mean play. like Jerry Curl? Uh, it's not Jerry Curl. It's it's not like that. I, I don't believe people have used Jerry Curl for twenty years. But would, would you would you hear the commercial? Here, Soul Glow. <laughs> So cool okay, thing coming to America. This is the kind of shit I'm talking about. Here we go. Racism. Time, One, two, three, have go. A good time. It has to turn into some politically correct shit. And next thing you know, it's going to... Next thing you know, it's just going to turn into a... You know. Come on, tell us what you really feel. Well, we, we would like to increase uh, African American attendance Why? at NASCAR events. Why? We're, we're trying to. You know what? It, NASCAR is the biggest sport in America right now. Why do you want to? Because because African Americans spend money and they love to come out and I think they love to party at a NASCAR event with all the other NASCAR uh, uh, viewers. Have you have you seen have you ever been have you seen over in Atlanta where they have that black festival every year? Mm -hmm. You know how much crime there is every year. Sir, there, there are crimes the at, at every major sporting event, and you know what? That, hang on. Well, that's Which one are you talking opinion. about? Let me give it to you. Right. Okay, go ahead. NASCAR is the number one sport in America. Yeah, I could, I, I Plus, there's crime everywhere, everywhere now, asshole. asshole. One more time. Just listen to just, it. Just, just give it. I've already heard the damn thing. Okay, just, just listen to it. It's very hot. Hip-hop rap awards back in the day. Are right, you like that? I don't want to listen to the thing again. Mr. Burgess, listen. I've already heard the commercial and if you let me give you my opinion but we just want to play one more time here for you sir. Just listen, sir, I sir. Want to, I, what do you think are you going to let me tell you what I think okay Mr. Burr sorry go ahead go I ahead. think it's a bunch of shit. every time black people get into sports and look how they act when, they, when the Lakers win bunch of damn so, so your, your argument to this is that it's going to cause crime at the at the at the um my argument to it is it doesn't need to happen. What do you think is going to happen if, if black people are joining NASCAR? Okay, if you want my opinion, let me give it to you. Here we go. Did you see the Rodney King video about 10 years ago? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, shit. talking about as fast as a NASCAR driver. Wait, Mr. Bur Burgess, all right. Sir, what, I don't understand what you're saying. Hold on. You wanted my opinion. Let me give you my opinion without interrupting me again. Mr. Burgess. Yeah, the people, black people can drive as fast as they want. How would you feel about Pump Daddy? Ten police officers out there with no, no, it's, clubs, it's not going to do anybody good. What do, what do you mean they can drive as fast? I don't understand. They drive fast all the time. They won't let you get in their lane. They won't let, move over to let you change lanes, but they'll go fast. Here's, who is they? <laughs> so, uh, sir, you got to have the dry ride, uh, the, 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 the low riders with the damn purple lights with like machines doing I'm sorry, but the low riders are for us Mexicans. Wheels. We well, took that shit. Rap, Low you know, like, no, dog, no, 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 <laughs> no, yeah, they have hockey. Come back. NASCAR? <laughs> Black cars, NASCAR. Oh, yeah, NASCAR, too. White people have NASCAR. Look, I took part in your goddamn service. Mr. Burns. Sure. Mr. We're, Burns. We're, we're in talk. Mr. Burns. Sure. This is prop. This is, I guarantee you, this is Whatever that sport is that has men with brooms moving in it. Black people organization trying to fucking get money. And I'm money Canadian. Out of you. I should know no, that. I'm not trying to get money out of you. Crochet, 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 Six hundred last year. What He's more than one. It's a fucking Kenyan fucking six fucking hundred. It's, it's, a, it's a Bush League. It's a Bush League series. Fucking riding. Tigers? Sir. Sir. Mr. Burgess. Sir, we are actually in talks right now to let Snoop Dogg, you had previously mentioned, open oh, up. Oh, well, 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 yippee, yo, yippee, yippee. Yeah. You know how many fucking NASCAR fans are registered with the NRA? Queen, Queen Latifah's going to have the opening flag. Who the fuck is that? She was in Chicago. She's a great, beautiful uh, African American actress. What, what, what the fuck does she have to do with it? See, you're fucking trying to get me to buy something. You're fucking trying to get well, me to buy something. What if she was a paranoid buy and your buying shit? Damn politics. And the answer is no. I've taken part in your fucking survey. I don't want any fucking cook and fucking NASCAR. Every time I pick up the fucking phone, it's another fucking fucking damn fucking nigger wants some fucking hand down because some fucking cook to get with a fucking slave. Five fucking. 
you fucking people. Why don't you fucking call somebody else then? I'm taking your fucking survey. I don't, I'm fucking <laughs> Oh, God damn. I really want to know <laughs> no, what his thoughts were when he found yeah. out who the gay marriage was legalized in 2015. Hello? He must have went off. <laughs> So you know I called law number three a survey. I'm not talking to you any more. I'm not buying any damn jerry curl. I'm not a fucking damn porch mother fucking damn sucking son of a fucking bitch. Don't you fucking damn call me again, you mother fucking sucking damn Nick Levin, son of a fucking bitch, Democrat mother Democrat. Ball sucker, son of a fucking damn what did he say at the end? He just had a stroke. I think he just popped a vein. Call him back. Call him back. Call him back. Oh my god. Democrat ball sucker. I have never heard of the ball sucker. Aww. Okay. So that was basically it. There were six of them. I thought there were seven. But anyway, yeah. If you'd like to watch these videos, I'll provide the link to you guys below. And enjoy the homophobic, racist, Christian-like Mr. Burgess. Such a legend back in the day. Still a legend now. Bringing it back. Anyways, take it easy, human donation. Bye.